What's up, what's up everybody? It's your boy me here. One sec. There's an entire bag of Lay's barbecue family size chips behind me. I didn't eat this entire bag. There was like this, like this many chips left, and I just had the rest. Um, for breakfast, I had a taco salad and a banana and a bagel and coffee. Um, for lunch, I had some cup noodle, and for dinner, I had bananas on toast. Um, today was a generally good day. I'm good. 5, 10, um, I took a shower, you know, I got ready for college, I got dressed, I took the bus to college, the train to college, um, I then got to college, I took my English 101 course, um, we're doing a, we're reading an essay from, Ren, um, from, our Arnold or something, some, some German, some German Jewish philosopher, um, who was in Germany, then fled to France, then fled to Spain, and then she fled to New York, and then um, she worked for the New Yorker, and then reported on Adolf Eichmann, uh, who was in the, who was like the, I think he was like the architect of the Holocaust, but I'm pretty, that might be a different guy. Um, and she reported on his trial, and that's how she got famous, and then she wrote all these philosophical essays on like culture. Um, and we're reading one of them. It's only 27 pages, but it's very dense, and we spent all class talking about the first two senses. Um, she has these very long, run-on sentences with these long, winding parenthetical statements, and, you know, um, if I wrote something like that, I would be marked down in literature class, but because she did it in a certain way, she's pretty smart. I'm being a little snarky. It's very cool, um, but, you know, um, then my class ended at 10.30 and my next class was at 3, so I just sort of sat in the temporary library and I worked on work. Um, I'm pretty much done with my first week of interpersonal communications homework, but I should do the second week. Um, you know, yeah, I'm supposed to have week one and week two done by next week, so, you know. Um, yeah, so then I can participate in the discussions, and the discussions are like 60% of your grade. So it's fine if I theoretically don't do any of these assignments, but if I do do these assignments, I'll implant the info into my head and that info will be useful in the discussions, which are most of my grade. Um, and then after that was my math class. Um, it's like one level under the math I was doing in high school, but I barely understood the math I was doing in high school. I think I got a D or a C. Um, in this class, I think I'm getting an A. Um, we just are doing some review of like the year before the year we're doing now pretty much. So we're talking about like real numbers and like irrational numbers and I wouldn't know what they all are, but you know, we're just doing review right now. Um, but you know, next uh, class on Tuesday, <coughs> sorry, next class on Tuesday, we're going to be talking about like real, like, like new stuff. Um, so yeah. No more water. <laughs> there's more water bottle. Uh, there's more water in that water bottle there. But um, yeah, while I was in the library, I charged my laptop with my um, anchor battery, my big anchor battery, and that's the first time I've charged a laptop with it. Worked pretty well. Drained the whole battery. So you know, it's about laptop battery sized. So you know, um, and. God, that, that was pretty much it. Yeah, that was my math class, and we learned about a new subject, sort of. We learned, we reviewed old subjects, and then um, I took the bus home, and then I took the train home, and on the way home, I actually got some some sushi from the local grocery store, like some prepackaged sushi, and I just ate it with a fork on the way home. And then once I got home, I had, um, oh, I also had a cup noodle between my inner, per between my, English class and my math class today, so I have cup noodle from the student store. Oh, also between them, I bought um, graph paper and a whiteout 
because I need graph paper for math class. And it was very useful when I ended up in math class. Um, every time I pay with my Apple Watch, someone's always like, ooh, that's, that's cool. Um, and it is cool. I feel like I would be lying if I said some of the reason why I pay for my Apple Watch isn't because it's like a little ostentatious and like a little cool, you know? But I wish it was just under cool enough for people to not mention it, but just like register it in their heads. I hate it when people are like, oh, whoa, whoa. Because if you have Apple, everybody has Apple Pay. And a lot of people have an Apple Watch. And something they don't know they can do is just double click on the side button and it opens up Apple Pay on their watch, you know? Um, but, you know, it, it's, it's cool when, when people do it. And I guess people do it because they don't want to seem ostentatious. But I don't mind seeming a little ostentatious. Um, I used to have my whole face be pretty red and my face be pretty itchy when I would do the hair dryer in the morning, um, it was hot and I would put it up against my forehead sometimes to where it would kind of start burning and that would basically itch my forehead. Um, but now I realize that there are just burns. There are just burns on my forehead, which is crazy. It's, cr I burned my forehead with burns, um, which is just so crazy. Luckily, this is all super surface level. Like I can feel it and it's like totally, like we're good. It'll be away, gone in like a week or two, but um, I noticed that a couple days ago and I just now worked out the courage to talk about it because it's kind of embarrassing. Um, but yeah, I only use my, my hair dryer on cold now. So then I don't, I'm not like, ooh, that feels good. I should, I should scratch my forehead with a hair, with a blow dryer, like a crazy person. Um, but you know, aside from that, everything went really well. Oh my God. When I was downtown waiting for my bus, after I got off the train, there was this homeless guy who like just started walking in the street. And I think he intentionally got in the way of a guy riding on a lime scooter. So he like almost crashed into him. Luckily the guy at the lime scooter stopped. But then the homeless guy, he put all of his stuff down onto the curb next to him and started like, like squaring up, like he was trying to fight him. Uh, but the lime scooter guy just drove away. <laughs> and so the, the homeless guy, um. Cause like he's, he was on his scooter, you know? So if someone like squares up in front of you trying to fight and you're on a lime scooter, you could just, you could just drive away, you know? And so he was just, he seemed very huffy and puffy and very mad and yelled at some people. Um, but then he just walked away. Uh, funny thing about lime, uh, the local skate park, I don't skate. I have some skater friends um, and friends of friends at that skate park who hang out there. They have a lime bike. Uh, but the funny thing is, is they just remove the computer from it, they remove the battery from it, and it's just a heavy bicycle and they just ride it around the skate park. They all do whippets though, which is crazy. Uh, so I, I try not to associate with them. My friends don't super associate with them, you know, and that's why I mentioned they're friends of friends. Um, but you know, yeah. I was planning on going to work tomorrow, but with how late I have to go to bed on school nights, or with how late I have to go to bed on nights in which I, I'm just saying, th I'm just saying, I'm just stringing together words and hoping they make up sentences and not actually thinking about them. Um, with how late I have to go to bed on nights in which I have school, um, it, it just doesn't make sense to go to work and it sucks because I love working and I'm always useful at work and I'm helpful and I'm, I'm actually, I've actually started making the money. Uh, remember when I mentioned how I'm cutting steel at work? Um, we're doing that for another company, and when we put it in our timesheet, we're charging that other company for me to cut their steel. So I'm making the company money, right? Probably way more than they're paying me, right? And um, so what am I saying? Um, I'm always very useful at work. And it sucks that I haven't been able to work there just because school has been really busy. There's a lot of schoolwork and I'm not complaining. I like being a student. I like doing schoolwork. It's good. It makes me feel like I'm getting smarter, right? And of course, work made me feel like I was getting smarter. Like I never knew how to use like a sawzall, you know, before I started working. I never knew how to use like a, I never knew how to cut steel before I started working. And that makes me feel smarter. But feeling smarter in an academic sense is definitely different from feeling smarter in like sort of a blue collar sense. And that sucks. That sucks that I have to make that distinction because I feel like, you know, um, being like a carpenter, like doing carpentry work 
is probably way, it's like probably functionally way more important than doing like stupid intellectual work on like culture, right? But, oh, it's my backpack. Um, on like stupid theoretical work on like culture. But also, you know, the social sciences are very important. Um, you know, all humans would be a lot less smart without social science. Shout out to sociology. Um, yeah. You know, I, I don't care enough about it to study it, but whenever I'm in a English 101 class or a world history class or, you know, some sort of social class um, and I'm interacting with, like, the social sciences, it's always wildly interesting. It's crazy to think about how people work. And, you know, typically... The way you think about how people work is just sort of assuming that people will do things and just sort of building around the assumption that they're going to do stupid things. But then you like you think sociologically about how people work and it's so crazy. Um, something I heard about recently is how um, the entire field of economics was under the assumption that all humans will make the perfect financial decisions. And um, it just recently became, not just recently, but it like relatively recently became a thing to where people would like, they include the calculation of people sometimes making stupid financial decisions in economic planning. And I think that's really interesting. And just stuff like that, like you can always learn more about how people work, you can always consider more. And it just seems like such an infinitely vast subject. And it's just everything, like social sciences is everything. You know, like, STEM can only go so far. Like, what? You're, uh, like, IT and, and tech and, and software development can only go so far until you're just, like, building silicon, right? Um, but social sciences, you know, the brain goes on forever. It's seemingly a, like a fractal of a computer. So there's always more to study. There's always more to look at. It's really interesting. I think next time I'm on the train or the bus, I'm going to wear a mask because it's always so packed. It's packed, like I, it's packed with like sardines in there. I'm breathing directly into people's faces and that's just because I can't move. Um, God, you know, whenever, it kind of makes me happy though to see public transport that that's that used because it means that um, they're definitely not going to get rid of that line. So I'm pretty happy about that. But yeah. All right, see you.